morning y'all and welcome to Tuesday's vlog. There's going to be a lot in this vlog though because there are some clips that I'm going to insert later on from yesterday. I have a Stitch Fix unboxing and a grocery haul and today we're just kind of hanging out. Um, this guy has a hurt paw and if you've been watching for a while you'll know that he hates the vet like terrified of the vet. He's not aggressive but he just hates the vet and I'm pretty sure Shiner's on a list like whenever you call they're like oh no it's that dog at least I'm afraid he's on a list like I said he's not aggressive but you can't touch him you can't do anything shout to you be careful when you're cuddling with your brother you can't touch him you can't do anything Robbie usually has to go in there and hold him the problem is that now with COVID they don't allow owners to go in and so it's just it's a big hot mess but Shiner's foot is not getting any better He's got a very, very swollen foot. We tried soaking it in Epsom salt, but is it Epsom or Epsom? Epsom? Whatever that's called. We tried doing a soak. It didn't really do much good. He's having a hard time walking, so we have to take him to the vet. Robbie's going to take him to the vet, though, um, later on. Just in case they will let him in, he always does better with Robbie. So I'll stay here with Avery. Hey, big girl. Hey, big girl. I also have a hair appointment today, so I'm super excited to get all this chopped off. It's just so dead at the ends and um, get it colored. Hi, boo. How is that? Pretty delicious, right? So, as you'll see in my grocery haul, I got her some teether crackers, and normally we get the long ones, but they actually substituted these for what we had put on there, and I think I might like them better. They're like little circles, so they can't crack in as many pieces, although there's two bits right there, but they're strawberry and beet, and she seems to like them. You want another one? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's pull it out. She's gonna throw a fit. Yummy. I went and got ready, and now we're playing a little bit before she goes down for a nap. <gasps> Ooh. We were, she was just giggling. I'm gonna see if I can get her to giggle again. Hold on. Oh, also we were letting her type an email with her toes, because she was trying to go after Robbie's computer. Robbie has an old keyboard. Ready? You're gonna type? Okay, type us an email. The daughter of an IT professional. Doesn't play with toys. Doesn't play with balls or jacks or jacks. Nobody plays with jacks anymore. Balls or blocks. She plays with an old keyboard. Go. Dear dad. Mom is driving me crazy. She won't me put, put me down for my nap even though I desperately want to go to sleep. Please come home soon. Love, Avery. P.S. Can you bring me home some more teethers? Figured I would go ahead and show you our grocery haul this week. This week I am reining it in again. I am gonna be doing a lot of like very lean proteins, not a lot of condiments. Yeah, I just, trying to get everything nice and trim and just getting all the inflammation and junk out of my body. I like to do that when I've had a weekend where maybe I wasn't all the way on plan or if we've been eating out a lot and both of those are true in this instance. So I'm gonna show you our grocery haul. Now you're gonna notice that the grocery haul is kinda small this week. Number one, like I said, I'm reining it in, but also Robbie's parents received an extra, well, not really extra, they received somebody else's Home Chef box, and so they brought that to us because they couldn't eat all that food before it went bad. This is actually from H-E-B, our Texas grocery store, and then I also got some stuff from Target. The first thing that we needed was some unsweetened original. All we had was vanilla almond milk, and Robbie does cook with this sometimes. I have guacamole. I like to make salads with guacamole and a little bit of ranch and um, kind of make it into a Southwestern salad, whether I'm using chicken or I'm using shrimp or beef. It's always really, really good. Some baby spinach to go into my shakes this week. I have three bags of Hearts of Romaine, which is my favorite kind of lettuce. Really boring like that. And then I've got three bags of frozen shrimp. 
Robbie needed some frozen chicken for his lunches this week or just kind of a supplement this week. He makes a lot of like rice, chicken with some soy sauce or teriyaki sauce and that seems to fill him up really well at lunchtime. Uh, let's, we'll come to the dogs in just a second. We needed more rice, speaking of rice, and we also needed more soy sauce. So I have the Kikkoman's Less Sodium Soy Sauce. I prefer that one over the regular one, but I really don't know if it makes all that much of a difference. Um, Taste wise. Then for the baby, I ordered her, they must have been out because I ordered her the long ones, like the ones that are like longer, not circles, and I ordered her banana and something else. And this is strawberry and beet, so we'll see how she likes those. I prefer the ones that are light in color because she gets stuff everywhere, and so the purple ones stain her clothes. <laughs> I also got her some more baby food, so she's got regular apple, she's got chicken and rice, and she also has sweet potato, carrot, and pea, so some of these are substitutions, because I did not order a lot of these. Um, I think I ordered apple, but the rest of these must be substitutions. So, for the dogs, we need more dog food, and so they have lamb and rice formula, which is so funny, because actually, I was talking to a client this morning, and she's also a subscriber, and she was like, I have a complaint, you never show the dogs anymore. And I was like, well, yeah, that's true. But anyway, so they needed some more dog food, and also, I got them some Dream Bones, that's for Shiner, and then those are for Shotzi, but as soon as Shiner finishes that one, he'll end up digging into these two. And I heard that Rawhide is not good for dogs, at least that's what my mom and our vet say, so we just do the Dream Bones, which is the no Rawhide, easy to digest Rawhide bones. And then Shiner actually has a hurt paw. Um, he has a really swollen, like, toe. I don't know if it's his toe or if it's his paw pad. Either way, it's super swollen, so we're gonna try this before we have to take him to the vet because if you know Shiner at all, you know that he is terrible at the vet. Like, awful, 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 awful. It is terrible to have to take him to the vet. It's very expensive, number one, but number two, he's just awful at the vet. He hates the vet, he's terrified of the vet, and so it makes it very unpleasant, and they try and muzzle him, and he gets even more upset. It's just not fun. So we're hoping that we can treat whatever it is here, and if not, then we'll take him to the vet. So that is my grocery haul for the week. I hope that you enjoy the rest of this video and the rest of what's going on on Tuesday, but let's get back to it. Are you hungry? <gasps> Are you so hungry? See, I'm so ready for a bottle. That'll just hit the spot. Yay! What's wrong? <laughs> Why did I buy cheap cheese to feed the dog? It's I don't medicine. know. The dog had to take some medicine and, um, Sharpie, no! Oh no, Robbie. Shut, I hate shut to me. tell you that there's another pill that he didn't take. Really? <laughs> yes, it's right there, quick. Oh, perfect. And the dog was not taking the cheese for me, so Robbie basically had to take a cheese bath trying to get this cheese in the dog's mouth. Shiner, <laughs> if you had just eaten this earlier, all this would have... It's a pain pill, buddy. It's for your feet. Yeah, it's going to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to make you... <laughs> he said, yeah, but the, uh, <laughs> the cheese won't. What would you do if he was like, <laughs> he spit it out? I just want to open his mouth back up and spin it and push it in even further. So do you like cheese now? I feel like if anything, I like cheese even less. <laughs> hey, we're not going to be able to catch it on camera. A good one! A good one! A good one! A good one! Ugh, I really needed to hear that giggle today. That's the first time she's ever giggled like that. If any of you follow us on Instagram, I'll leave it right here. Um, last week was a hard, hard, hard week. Sometimes you just feel like, man, are they happy? And this week is obviously so much better, and it's Tuesday, so. Hey, a gum one. <laughs> so we've been working on crawling. Trying to work on crawling. Let's see if she'll crawl to the camera, because she's super interested in the camera. Go get the camera. Go get it. Okay, ready? Up, up, up. There you go. 
Here you go. Go get it. Go get it. She can get here. I don't know how to help from here. My mom says I should just let her figure it out. But as a mom, she gets so frustrated the fact that she can't move. And so I want to help her get to the point where she can move. Of course, when she is crawling, I'm probably going to wish that she wasn't. Ready? Move this knee. There you go. Kisses. How do you blow kisses? How do you blow kisses? She took, oh. <laughs> Yay! She took like the tiny, good job! You got it! Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Yes. Okay, so I changed from mom clothes, which was like leggings and a t-shirt that had spit up and banana all over it, to a camo shirt, and you can't see, but I'm wearing my new Judy Blue jeans from my Stitch Fix box. Well, my last, my last Stitch Fix box. Speaking of Stitch Fix, I'm gonna go ahead and insert right here the footage of me unboxing my Stitch Fix from yesterday. I am so excited. I'm also running up the stairs. Not a smart thing to do when you're me. Oh no! This camera's about to die. Hold on. Okay, so I set a timer and I put this camera on the charger for 10 minutes, hoping that it would just at least get me through unboxing my Stitch Fix and trying on some of my pieces. Because I know that my time to be like in-house with quiet and kind of like not have anything to take care of is very short right now because Robbie's gonna be on his way home with dinner pretty soon. And let's be really honest, I'm hungry. So, I did open it up, but I haven't looked inside it yet. So let's see here. It's a smaller box this time than it was last time. That's all my good stuff there. What is this? What? Oh, this is to send anything back. Okay. Let's take a look. It says, oh, hello, take a peek, tucked inside, pieces from your stylist. I think this is what I need to read that she kind of writes things to me. Okay, so. Happy second fix day, Mallory. I was excited to get the chance to style you again today. I hope you're having a fantastic day and this fix makes it even better. I saw your request for this fix and I think you're going to love the items that I have selected for you. I started today with the Market and Spruce dress. Okay, let's pull that out. I spend my tripod trying to put y'all up, set y'all up, and I moved the mirror into our bedroom which has better lighting. So, let's take a look. What I would love to do is put a mirror in our newly transformed closet. If you haven't seen that video, it was the last video that just went live and I am in love with their closet. Okay, so the first thing is the Market and Spruce dress. Um, now I specifically asked her for a dress for Avery's baptism. So we'll see. I have a couple of backup options if this doesn't work, but let's see here, what is this? So, mm, I don't know. It's not really anything that I've ever really worn before. It's a knit dress. I do like knit, it's kind of short. I don't think it's going to be dressy enough for Avery's baptism, so it's a good thing that I have a couple different options. I will try it on, but my first impression of it is, it's not really my print. But I never told her I didn't really like stripes, so. Anyway, okay, so there's that. She says, this is perfect for dressing up for your daughter's baptism. And booty, add booties or a nude heel and jewelry and you're and jewelry and you're ready to go. Next I added in the Liverpool jeans. These have a nice fit with a bit of stretch. Okay, so she sent me more jeans, which is so good because I told her last time I wrote her back because you can go in and like make comments to your stylist, which is so nice, um, and told her that I was really excited for the jeans. These are super, super stretchy. They're very dark wash, which I really like, especially for the winter months. I sounded like a stylist when I said that. I really don't care. I wear any kind of jeans at any time. So I cannot wait to try these on. I can always use more jeans. They look kind of long, but I always roll mine up at the bottom anyway. And then it says, try pairing these with the lush top and booties for a date night look. Here's the lush top. I do love this print. Very cute. Or try pairing them with the Nine Britain top for a casual look. This is the Nine Britain top. 
very casual so we'll try this on but i do really like like the color it's kind of a gray beigey it's not really one or the other but kind of both so i like that and then she said let me know how you liked the fit and style of these pieces enjoy trying everything on happy styling caitlin and then the last thing that she put in here she didn't say anything about but oh it's a cardigan super soft it's kind of a plum color um i think the camera's picking up the correct color but that's it's cute it's more fitted than the last one so we'll just have to see so should i order everything it's going to be 185 dollars the cool part is if you buy all of it you get a 25 percent discount which would be 68 dollars and 50 cents and then also there is a 20 dollar purchasing um there is a 20 dollar styling fee but if you buy all of the products or all of the items that they send you that goes straight into what you would pay for the items anyway so you kind of get that back in a way so this may turn out like last time where i like everything except for one but it's much cheaper to just keep one of them so we'll just have to see let's start with the dress though i actually i think i love the silhouette of it it's hard to tell because of the bell sleeves i actually really love the bell sleeves a lot it's just the print that i'm not super super fond of but honestly I can still see myself wearing this to church, just not on the weekend that Avery's being baptized. I don't know. I'm going to keep it to the side, and if I end up liking everything else and it's cheaper to just keep this item, I'll just keep this item. And who knows, it may grow on me. I do have that happen to me a lot because the, I really absolutely love the sleeves, and I love how slim it makes my arms look, actually, if that's even a thing. So, I don't know. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So, next up are the Liverpool Kaylee skinny jeans they're super super dark wash like i said almost black um super stretchy they fit really well they're a little long like i could pull them down over my heels but like i said i always end up rolling them up anyway super comfortable so i think i'll definitely keep these because like i said i could always use new jeans more than anything i am in love with this top this is the lush addy blouse in the cheetah print it has bubble sleeves as you can see it's got a little bit of elastic though it's super super flowy which i love but also not like doesn't make you look like a plum or an apple it's got some sort of a shape to it but it's also super flowy i don't have to worry about like constantly doing this all night long it's not super super low like i don't have to worry about anything popping out i love it i love this so much i'm keeping both of these items but so far this top is my favorite piece maybe my favorite piece that i've received in the two boxes so far except for my judy blue jeans which i wear like every day so anyway okay i'm gonna throw on the other the nine britain top real fast okay caitlin also did a really really good job on this top i thought it was going to be super clingy it's definitely not it's real short in the front which i actually really like with the little tie i also like that the tie is not directly in the middle it's kind of off to the side this camera is also about to die again so i need to hurry but i'm definitely keeping this top as well you can pull it down in the back to cover if you want to or you could easily pull it back up so yeah Great job, Caitlin, on this one. The last thing I'm going to try on, and I'm probably just going to try it on over this, is the Market and Spruce, which is the same brand as that first dress. I'm going to try on that cardigan. Like I said, this is Nine Britain, and it's called the Billy Tie Front Brushed Knit Top. Yeah, love it. Last off is the Market Spruce 2 Pocket Cardigan. It's super, super soft. I don't know what I would wear it with. I'm sure you could always pair it with like a, you know, solid t-shirt underneath or something. I like it. But I also want to think about this one for just a second. So I'm going to go kind of price things out to see what's cheaper. But I don't know. I'm kind of on the same level with this cardigan as I am with the Market Spruce dress, honestly. So it's just something, I think it's the color, maybe. If this was like a gray, I'd probably be like, yep, I'm in. But I think it's the color. But let me go do some price. Sorry about that light, you guys. Um, let me go do some pricing and see kind of what I find. So as you can see, some good stuff. Good, good stuff. Actually, I went in and I have to take the stuff that I'm not keeping. So I ended up not keeping the dress and the cardigan. Um, I'm taking those back today after I have my hair done. And then I actually have one scheduled for, I think, next week. I don't know what it is, but I was, like, eligible for, a like, a faster one. So I'm having, I think, my one from next month is sent to me next week, which... I was totally cool with. I love, love, love this. This top was definitely my favorite from this box, and I think I'm going to wear it on Saturday night. 
Robbie and I are gonna go on a date night, so I gotta hurry up because it's almost 4.15 and there's usually traffic right around this time, right around the area that I have to go to get my hair done. So I will see y'all uh, probably when I finish with my hair. So this, take a last look everybody because it's getting chopped. <laughs> da 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 da! She cut off six inches. She added caramel highlights, red highlights, and she added a couple more blonde. I already had some blonde. I wish it was a little darker, like the root. It looks darker on camera, I think, than in person, which I don't, I don't know how that's possible, but I wish it was a little darker, like in the root and in the base, but I really like it, and I really like the fact that it's not so long. I really do. I'm just not somebody who loves long hair. I was talking to Robbie. I'm just not somebody who really likes long, my, long hair on myself. Do I wish I could pull it off? Heck yes, but my hair is just too fine. So, anyway, while I was gone, Robbie watched the baby. He did a great job. Do you want to tell him what happened when you were upstairs <laughs> bathing little miss? I come in the house. I'll let you tell it in a second. I come in the house and the water bowl's in the hallway and I said, what the? And then I turned and saw Robbie and Robbie's face was like this. As he's holding the baby. You want to tell everybody what happened? Yeah. One second. So, as y'all unless this is your first vlog ever, y'all know that we have two dogs and a baby. That's a name for a vlog series, two dogs and a baby. And you'll know that we love all three of them. Just not at the same time. Just kidding. However, the large dog, this evening was what I would have classified as a hellion. He um, <laughs> was constantly into whatever I was trying to do, feeding the baby. He was like in my lap as I was trying to feed her and myself. And then um, he drank the water bowl completely dry. Completely dry. Like, licked it dry. And we just filled it up like yesterday. Yeah, it's been filled up recently. And so I take Little Miss upstairs to uh, give her a bath. You know, to get ready for Mallory to come home and feed her and go to bed. And um, not only is he trying to drink the baby's water, he then starts drinking out bath of the toilet. Bath water. Little Miss's bath water. Also tries to drink out of the toilet and then out of her bath water again. Uh, at this point, I'm done with him, and I push him out of the bathroom, close the door, and I'm like, whatever. I'll fill up his water whenever I get done bathing her, get downstairs, all that. So, I finish bathing her, you know, get her changed, new diaper, you know, give her her lotion, um, you know, make sure her hair's brushed, put her in a new onesie. As I'm coming down the stairs, I hear suspicious noises. I don't really know how to describe it except there's a certain sound that is Shiner rummaging through the trash. I don't know how to describe it, it's just the sound that I recognize as Shiner is going through the trash. And as I'm coming down the stairs I hear this and I turn the corner and sure enough the trash can is in the laundry room, there's trash all over the floor, and so I just yell at him to crate up and then I like as I'm throwing him in his crate, I hear the garage door open, and so I just sit down on the chair with a little miss on my lap, and I'm looking like this. So. You're having a moment like I was having last week. Yeah. So. so little miss was great. Little miss was great. China was. I had him. Shotzi? Um, Shotzi was fine, as always. Um, She's such a good dog. Yeah. So, thanks to my loving wife for being willing to come home and clean up Shiner's mess, feed the baby, put her to bed, clean up Shiner's mess. I appreciate it. But do you see what he got me? I did not feel like cooking anything right now. I'm tired, it's eight o'clock. I should have eaten like 45 minutes ago, but he lovingly went and got me some dinner and it really didn't bother me to clean up the mess. I knew he needed the break at that point. I just got to have a break and like have some mommy time. So, or some me time, mommy me time. Me mommy time? I don't know. I got a mommy makeover, so. You got her hair did. Yeah, I got my hair did. So, Mr. Service? Yes. Take the night off. I'm gonna go have my dinner, and then call some clients, and then I'm probably gonna head to bed. So with that being said, let's close the vlog. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today. Robbie, you haven't been closing of a vlog in a long time. That's on his channel. By the way, we have not shouted out what he did on Thursday. Robbie? What did I do on Thursday? Oh, um, I officially released a, an app, mobile app, to the iOS app store. Woo! It's called Tag Out. If you're a hunter, or I was telling somebody the other day, 
even if you're not a hunter, even if you just live out where there's wildlife and you want to see what kind of wildlife and track what kind of wildlife, yeah. it's a great app. It's called Tag Out, all capital letters, all one word. It's a green app, um, and it looks like a deer tag. So, or a doe tag. Deer tag doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's yeah. deer tag. So check it out if your husband's an avid hunter. We would greatly appreciate your support. I say we. He. Well, we would appreciate it. We would, but he would really appreciate it. So, thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. Let me know if you like these, because I really enjoyed doing them. And we have a Vlogmas coming up. We are going to do Vlogmas. I have officially said we're doing Vlogmas this year. So, until next time, I love you all, and God bless you. Say goodnight, Robbie. Goodnight, Robbie.